Okay, welcome back to Alan Wood Modeling. Um, today what I'm going to show you is the Cobalt IP Digital from DCC. By now you'll realise I use a lot of DCC concepts. They're good, they're reasonably priced, and they're close to me, which is the big thing because I can always go back to it for advice. So I'm going to show you, these ones have come with the centering function already switched on, so you need to switch that off before you set it up. Um, talking to the guys down there, they're saying the new ones are going to come with the centering function switched off, which by the sound of it will make it a lot easier. Okay. There are a couple of things to know about these point motors. Um, I'll take it out of the box. This is a, I brought a box, box of 12. And look, they work like a charm. They really do. Um, so like I said, it's the Cobalt Digital IP. Number one thing, don't take this sticker off. Big important thing, don't take that sticker off. Power goes in these two outlets. Um, on some of the older videos on YouTube, you might find that they have a power switch in there. Don't do that, because what happens if you do that is that you end up with a totally dead motor. Word of warning, don't stick anything in these end points, just use the DCC in and the frog. If you're going to use the switch, by all means use the switch. Make sure you have it all desensored, working and everything else, and then install the switch. Um, down the track I'm going to be looking at the Cobalt Alpha, so keep an eye out for that too. Um, so this one here is dead. Um, so what I do is I use this one for setting up my points, and then once the points and the holes are all drilled, I install the good one. So this is, this is my test, test motor. We'll put him aside. Okay, so this is the owner's manual that comes with it. And it says here, in big red sections here, comes with the throw bar pre-centered and has built-in software structure for automatic centering that makes installation easy. The process uses address 198 and 199 for activation and deactivation. Now, here's an interesting point. Using a Digitrax DCS51, some power off there. Um, 198, 199 didn't work, didn't do anything. 998 and 999 worked. So if you're using these motors and you can't get it to turn the self centering off with 198, try 998. Worked for this, may work for you as well. Okay. So how do we do it? All right, this is this is wired up to my to my layout at the moment. So all I have is two small wires coming off. You don't need to use the programming circuit with this. You can just use the main main part on the point motor. You see there. Let me get a pointer. You see here, DCC in, DCC in, frog. Beauty thing these, no soldering, they're just to press, put the wire in there, press that, slips in, clamps on, beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our two bus lines if you want, or dropper lines, whatever you want to call them, from the power in the unit into those two DCC sockets. Okay, so twist the end of your wires, check power is off, all that you do, turn around this way so you can see, so you feed him into there, Press down on that. Just push him in until he's all the way in. Trim the end of this one. So line him up, pop him in. And use your finger. I find it easy to use something a little bit more pokey, and then just slide in. So we've got our two DCC wires in. Okay, accessories that come with this. I'm going to put this on. I will put this on after I've set the address normally. But I'm going to put this on just so you can actually see it moving when I change it. So we're still in the self-centering mode. We've got our wires up. I'll quickly pop these on. It's fairly simple. As they put the seam to the bottom now, remember, your pump sits this way, or your pump, your motor sits this way. That slides into there. This goes up to 
through the center hole and there's two holes on the motor arm that part there I'll turn around so you can see it this part here goes in the top hole and it's held in and you go it's held in by a little tiny screw so I'll screw that in just finish put up popping the screw in Getting that screw in, I think, is the hardest thing about setting these points up. Okay. It also comes with a little foam pad. It's not that easy. Really makes it, does make it a lot easier to mount. There's various accessories for these motors. As you can see, you can mount them that way, you can mount them that way. If you stuck the space, you can mount them that way. They make a right angle adapter. So I can still operate the points. Um, really are really really impressive them. Okay. We'll go that way. Now, on the side here, just here, it's a little switch that says set and run. So at the moment this is in run. So what we need to do is we need to put part to the pump, we need to put that to set, we need to set that address on the manual they say 198. With this unit, I've got to use 990. Okay, so now we're ready to turn that self centering function off. Okay, so what we do, the switch on the side, click it to, to set, turn your power on to your unit, put in your switch 998, write that to the unit. Turn your switch back to run. Oh. Sometimes with these pumps I find that you have to actually turn the power off after you put it back to run and the things so, yeah, they're a little fit. After that, allocate whatever switch, put it back to set. Allocate whatever switch you'd like it to do. I think we're up to what's that 91? So this is switch 95. Write it, or sometimes it's good to do it a couple of times with this. Put it back to run. Throw your switch. And away it goes. That phone's just showing you where it's moving. Okay. Okay. Power off. Press down on those two. Put your wire right. She's ready to go. one, black, into the other, power unit on, put your switch to set, switch, nine, nine, eight, right, Read, write, read, write. Switch back to run. We're sitting on this top here. And then try to turn the power off. Power back on. Switch 998. And off it goes. So you can set it up on either side. Now there is also a function to turn this self-centering back on. If you want to do that to install it, set 999, right, toggle, right. To set your address, go switch. We're going to set it up the same one as the last switch. So we're going to go 95, right, toggle, right, toggle. Pop that back to run, and there we go. 